My name is Lucian Matisse and I'm a Toronto-based fashion designer. What we're going to see here today, uh, the inspiration behind it is actually a pot from Morocco and it's made out of copper and um, I was inspired by the laciness uh, and, and the beautiful color, color that uh, we're going to see on the garment. Um, it's all hand uh, crafted on the bottom, hand beaded um, in copper and then the lace continues to the top. So I really love the fragility that we have on the top and then the weight of the bottom of the dress. So it's kind of like a contrast between light and airy like the lace and then the heavy part of the bottom of the bejeweled part. It is all about Canadian art and being selected as one of the group of seven fashion designers was such a huge honor. Um, and I've actually, um, I've admired the group of seven for a long time. I studied the group of seven back in uh, high school and I love the work, I loved their message, um, the raw uh, nature inspired art. So uh, I always felt very connected to it. My name is Darcy Moses, I'm, uh, I'm a designer and I am uh, a Dene First Nation from Northwest Territories. Uh, it's a mixture of uh, really traditional uh, Aboriginal design, uh, like from turn of the century, and, uh, and it's kind of a juxtaposition of, of really old traditional design and modern technique, like couturier technique and modern fabrics. I think first of all, the McMichael has a preeminent collect uh, collection of uh, First Nation Aboriginal art. And, uh, and as a Aboriginal designer, I think that it, it kind of fits in with, with, you know, part of their collection. Inspiration comes from, uh, well, I spent time living and working amongst members of my own community in, in the territories. And inspiration comes from, uh, it's derivative of uh, old techniques like beadwork and, and techniques of working with hides and making it relevant for today. Instead of seeing it on museums, in museums, you can, it's a bit more like wearable art. And the pieces tonight are wearable art, and, uh, but it's still wearable. I'm Kirk Thickersga. And I'm Stephen Wong, and we're both designers for Greta Constantine. We have on exhibit a dress that we've done. It's, um, it's an aqua, I it's guess? It's an aqua coat, yes. Yeah, an aqua evening gown. Very simple, one-shouldered, um, with a bit of a waist emphasis. And we thought it was appropriate just because it was, it's a simple yet striking note. And we thought that was perfect for, for the McMichael. We're known for using jersey fabric. So, you know, the fluidity of it all, and um, we get to use a lot of color, and it's just like art. We like to use that as a type of canvas. Hi, I'm David Dixon, Canadian-based designer. When they approached me to do, be a part of this project, I really wanted to find out, okay, what does McMichael Gallery mean to me in terms of fashion? And for me, when I think of the Group of Seven, I think of landscapes and natural and organic. Um, so I wanted to apply that to my own design aesthetic. Uh, with my own design aesthetic, I intend to know more for tactile uh, elements, uh, sort of strict meets organic. So my full approach to this, gar this garment tonight is simply that, it's organic. And I've used only black and white, uh, so what I wanted to implement was movement, the, the, the illusion of waves, uh, uh, things, uh, things from nature that have movement and have a rhythm and have their own sort of life to it when they move. So the whole idea is that the piece itself becomes a moving part of art. I'm Joe for Kayak. I'm a women's ready-to-wear designer from Toronto, Canada. The dress that I designed for the McMichael event, the Group of Seven, was actually inspired by the Group of Seven a painting, particularly from Carmichael, the Bays of Island. Um, the colorations and the way that the dress uh, was structured with the flowing and the romantic, uh, flowy elements of the dress it was a direct uh, inspiration from that painting. I'm Joyce Gunhouse. I'm Judy Cornish. And we're the designers behind the Comrags label. The garment was inspired by landscape, but what we did with it is we moved it into an urban environment. So we've done something that is mountainous, and we've replaced snow with salt, and um, it's an urban 
an urban take on landscape. I think what we were inspired by is Judy and I have uh, had our entire career in Canada and it's always been our focus so we did something that reflected Comrags being very Canadian and the McMichael Gallery being you know our Canadian gallery with the artists. Was, so we were in same inspiration. Yeah. But it was a feeling like it, it wasn't a specific piece it was sort of a feeling that lingers in us from and, what we've seen. And what we actually did was paint um, salt water onto the garment and then when it dried it, it created this effect so it's painterly. My name is Tianli and I'm what's so called uh, a glorified seamstress. To me it's, it's, it's not an inspiration it's something I want to do. It's, it's, I'm always wanting to learn something new, something different and making that piece in particular I learned a lot and then there's more to making a garment than just you cut it up and you sew it up and there's your dress. There's, you have to learn the culture, you have to learn where it's coming from, the history behind it and the technical parts of it. That what make the garment that I present today. As a Canadian, I'm very proud to be who I am and you know, I, I'm Asian, I'm, I'm my heritage is uh, Asian and you know, McMichael is a Canadian, promoting Canadian arts and that's how I would fit it I suppose. <laughs>